A number of striker vehicles manufactured by General Dynamics Land Systems GDLS, have arrived at Fort Sill to initiate the equipment process for the 2nd Mshorad 4th Battalion, 60th Air Defense Artillery Regiment. In response to an increasingly assertive Russia exerting influence in Eastern Europe and attempting to destabilize the NATO alliance, the Army acknowledges the necessity of safeguarding maneuvering units and allies against this threat. The remaining 31 vehicles will be deployed between now and September 2023. The initial testing and completion of the 1st Mshorad Unit, the 5th Battalion, 4th Air Defense Artillery, located in Ansbach, Germany, occurred in April 2023. This strategic decision to conduct Mshorad test fires in Germany demonstrates the United States commitment to bolstering its defense posture in Europe as a response to the aggressive actions of Russia. The Mshorad Maneuver Short Range Air Defense, after years of inactivity, is now reactivated. The U.S. Army acknowledges the difficulty of training a new generation of air defense soldiers. There exists a knowledge and generational gap among Army personnel regarding the integration of Shorad units for defensive purposes. Another challenge lies in the time required to adequately test and deploy these new systems. However, the Army has managed to meet its schedule in deploying M. Shorad despite the aforementioned challenges, as well as the global pandemic in 2020, which caused a slight delay in delivering M. Shorad to the soldiers. General Dynamics Land Systems Canada GDLSC, manufactures striker vehicles for the United States Army at a facility located in London, Ontario. The Striker is a series of armored fighting vehicles with eight wheels, originally derived from the Canadian LAV-3. In February 2018, the U.S. Army announced plans to enhance Striker vehicles with sensors and weapons to meet the temporary need for maneuver short-range air defense M -Shorad, capabilities. As the threat of near-peer major combat operations looms, the importance of Shorad, short-range air defense, and high-tier weapons such as THAAD, terminal high-altitude area defense, and the Patriot surface-to-air missile system once again takes center stage. In addition, the U.S. Army is also deploying and slash TWQ-1 Avengers and employing portable Stinger missiles. The striker vehicles will be upgraded to extend their lifespan and provide a sustainable mobile air defense solution. In September 2020, the Army awarded General Dynamics a $1.2 billion contract for integrated M Shorad, IM Shorad, with plans to deliver 144 vehicles over a five year period. The initial order includes 28 vehicles valued at $230 million. The M Shorad Maneuver Short Range Air Defense system transforms the Striker Infantry Transport, equipped with eight wheels, into a mobile platform capable of engaging drones and helicopters while providing rapid maneuverability on the battlefield to support ground troops. The system utilizes sensors to detect and track low-flying aircraft, enabling the gunners inside the 360-degree Avenger air defense turret to engage with Stinger or Hellfire missile, a 30mm M230 LF-XM914 chain gun, and a 7.62mm M240 coaxial machine gun. The M Shorad system is an air defense artillery capability designed to operate alongside Brigade Combat Teams BCT, by conducting movement and maneuvers. Its primary objective is to eliminate, neutralize, or deter low-altitude aerial threats, encompassing Group 3 unmanned aircraft systems, UAS, rotary-wing aircraft, and fixed-wing aircraft. 
The system seamlessly integrates with established army networks and maintains interoperability with Sentinel radar. The MSHORAD system is specifically developed to counter the risks posed by Unmanned Aerial Systems UAS, as well as various rotary and fixed-wing aircraft. It offers a standardized army platform that is not only cost-effective but also highly mobile, capable of withstanding threats, sustainable, and easily transportable. The Stryker vehicle remains in high demand even beyond the formations of the Stryker Brigade combat teams, indicating its continued value and versatility.